Hey guys, it's Peter with Warm Water Addicts. So, I'm putting out two videos today. Um, I was just sitting down to do some gar flies, and I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Uh, I, I do believe that uh, you can do string flies. Some people don't like them, but uh, they're super easy, cheap. I mean, they're literally two materials. So, uh, I, I would just encourage you to use a hook that you will probably never use again. Uh, or a cheap hook like 3366. It's still strong. These are just some random hooks I found. I don't even I don't even know where I got them. I just kind of found them and I'm like, hey, sure. So just using some string here, uh, just some cord. Cut a piece about that long. Unfurl it. So break it up. Break it apart. too bad just like that tie it in right here or so fold it over tie it like that and with finish so these are really easy um, you can leave that long you don't have to trim it if you want to brush these out you can but the guard is just going to tear it up anyway so it doesn't really matter if you brush that or not um, yeah super easy don't like takes literally what 10 seconds uh, now I'm going to show you my top water one it's a little longer but still pretty easy process so sometimes you got to get their attention so use a little bit of flash boo Couple strands, nothing much. I'm gonna try to keep this video under three minutes, so it should be should be easy to easy to work with. Cut them like that. Same deal. I'm gonna I can use white, you know. They don't, I mean, honestly, guys, it doesn't matter what you use. I've thrown nymphs, um, prince nymphs catches them, you know, giant rabbit strip le uh, leeches, woolly buggers, string flies. I would honestly argue that you could probably attach a piece of foil to your hook and throw it out in front of them. And they're aggressive enough just to take it. Uh, same deal right here. One, two, three. Make sure that's all clamped down, tie it down. The string flies are probably going to get more or less tangled in this and then, than you are going to hook them. Uh, so with the string flies, something that that I was messing up early on when I started using them is that set really hard. When in, in reality you want to set really slow so that it, it has time to uh, the fibers have time to work into the middle middle of their teeth and stuff. Uh, if you guys don't know what a gar gar's teeth look like. They're just rigid, you know, there's tons of them. You can just look in there and it doesn't take long for these these to get get all, you know, tangled in. I don't want to do too much, but when they clamp down, I mean, you just, they just get caught like that. Um, really easy and, and um, they're not going to, they're not going to really be able to let go. And some people think that it is it is somewhat difficult to get these to um, to uh, come off your hook, but just work with them a little bit. If you have to, cut it out, and the fibers will work their way out later. Uh, just actually use a razor for that. Oh, there it is behind me, behind the camera. Just cut a cube. Uh, I've noticed some bigger gar chase bait fish. And hit top water. So everybody likes top water. So this is just flip flops, as you can see. I really do like flip flop foam. It's not really, it's not the easiest of materials to work with, but it could be a lot worse. Um, and it's cheap, so you don't feel bad if you break off. Yeah, it's about the right length. So whip finish here. Oops. 
One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't really matter where it goes. It's gonna be under the flat, under the, under the. Um, oh, I got tangled. Golly, what's going on here? There we go. Just like that. Zap a gap. Just kind of. Spread a semi-thick layer on there. That's way too much. You don't need that much. Just a couple of dots. Uh, poke through. I'm just using my scissors because it doesn't need to be fancy. And slide the, slide the cube on there. Just hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. It's not going to move anymore. There's the top water uh, for Gar. Not hard, guys. I mean, just these two flies alone are the only, really the only flies I use when I'm Gar fishing. If you want to get a little fancier, um, you can throw there's stuff like this with some chenille. There's decorative flies out there that you can look up on Google, and, and yeah, they're kind of cool, but in real, in real, realistic uh, places, that you don't need them. You know, just string. Literally, it's just string. Uh, I think they just get excited by the, the, the fast moving. Yeah, make sure you guys move your flies fast, and then as soon as they start chasing them, slow it down just a little bit, and they'll catch up and nip at it. So, deuces.